டென் நைன் எயிட் செவன் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் ஜீரோ ப்ளஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் lift off normal pivot here tracking. we have a majestic lift off of lvm3 m4 rocket carrying india's prestigious chandrayaan 3 spacecraft pivot tracking prajalan aur safalta poor uthapan lvm3 m4 rocket ka yo bheem ka rocket aasman ko cheerte hue apni bhayank dahad se charo aur kampan utpann kar raha hai land it a little bit shift its location by a bit so that it can find the perfect location as it's landing it can it will scan the area just below it and uh, you know it can shuffle its area movement a little bit so there is a lot of confidence because all of these have been taken care of there has been a lot of testing of the instruments uh, there uh, there is a lot of uh, error margin left in so the hope is that with all this it will work a lot better mehsoos kar sakte hain aur yahi dahad hai jo vaigyaniko ko romanchit karti hai LVM-3 के उत्थापन के साथ ही हमारे अंतरिक्ष यान चंद्रयान थ्री की चंद्रमा की यात्रा प्रारंभ हो चुकी है बिकॉज द सन लाइट डज नॉट डज नॉट रीच डायरेक्टली टू द साउथ पोल सो द क्रिएटर्स आर काइंड ऑफ शेडोड एंड शेल्टर्ड फ्रॉम द सन सो देर माइट बी यू नो वॉटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आइस एंड दैट्स गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी बिग डिस्कवरी एंड ऑफ अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यूज इफ यू एवर वॉन्ट टू मेक अ स्पेस कॉलोनी ऑन द मून चंद्रमा की सतह पर अपना छाप छोड़ने के लिए चंद्रयान थ्री अपने मिशन को पूरा करने निकल चुका है Chandrayaan 3 uh, is go as you know that we are going to be the fourth country to land on the moon but this may this will be the first country that lands on the south pole of the moon and uh, why is the south pole important because it might be uh, from what we seen from Chandrayaan 1 result when Chandrayaan 1's impactor crashed on the moon and from other missions too there's a likelihood that there are water molecules in the form of molecules or ice in the southern pole because the sunlight does not does not reach directly to the south pole so the craters are kind of shadowed and sheltered from the sun so there might be um, you know water in the form of ice and that's going to be a very big discovery and of a lot of use if we ever want to make a space colony on the moon and also if there is any kind of microbial life again that uh, there is the possibility only there that we would be able to find it so that would be like a big uh, big thing to land on the south pole and besides that the other objective is that it's to prove the technology you know both all the all the three lander rover and the propulsion module are indigenous only made so we want to show that uh, you know our technology is good enough to do interplanetary travel and be able to meet all these challenges successfully so there are several points that make it very difficult first is the moon surface is made out of something called regolith which is like fine dust so uh, so that makes a, you know because it's not a hard surface it makes the landing difficult also the dust flies when you uh, when you're about to reach or when you land on it so it can obscure your cameras so the one of the main problems is that uh, the the sequence of commands has to be automated because at that point isro can't control it so you know it already has to have the software and the intelligence put in so that it can handle the whole situation and that that's one of the things that makes uh, landing very difficult also the moon in particular has uh, a lot of craters and uh, mountains and so to find a plain surface where the landing would be smooth is difficult and the south south pole has more of these craters and mountains so where the other missions have landed that are closer to the equator and there are smoother surfaces there so that is why uh, you know to find a smooth location to land on the regolith and not tumble over and also the orientation has to change from a horizontal to a vertical position 
uh, you cannot come in with too much too much speed and that what that's what makes it a hard landing if you come up with speed which means you just crash okay so it has to be a very controlled speed so it can touch down very gently so all these things are there and of course the main thing being uh, autonomous sequence so the sequence already has to be there its own intelligence has to help it land uh, by taking uh, snapshots of the landing locations the altitude and the velocity as it's landing and feed it back to it so it can fine tune its own uh, location as it's landing so it is quite confident because uh, it made a lot of changes from uh, chandrayaan 2 learning from its failure uh, i'll just mention briefly a few of them uh, the the software sequences are much more upgraded uh the landing legs are stronger the landing area that it can land in is larger so it has more of a margin of error uh the speed at which it can come in is a little more uh then uh it has four thrusters instead of five because it feels that the balance might be more it has more fuel so it can you know fumble around for a little longer or wait and hover for a little longer uh so there are all these steps and it's got a, a very good landing camera uh, something called a uh, laser something called a doppler velocimeter which will fine tune the city as it's landing and also a laser altimeter which will fine tune its altitude that it's landing and it has also been given the intelligence to take in that data and land it a little bit shift its location by a bit so that it can find the perfect location as it's landing it can it will scan the area just below it and uh, you know it can shuffle its area movement a little bit so there is a lot of confidence because all of these have been taken care of there has been a lot of testing of the instruments uh, there uh, there is a lot of uh, error margin left in so the hope is that with all this it will work a lot better so definitely missions like chandrayaan 3 have uh, raised uh, india in the you know status of uh, interplanetary missions or space technology so right now even next month we have the aditya l1 launch coming up which is a solar exploration mission and then there is a there is a shukrayaan mission venus exploration later and uh, maybe next year and already countries have uh, like uh, sweden Uh, germany france have already expressed uh, their interest in collaboration for that so uh, all some some of the isro launchers that are going take foreign payloads along with them so definitely there are uh, other countries that are much more interested in collaboration both for the payloads and for you know just the technology also <laughs>